Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 9th of 2022. Well, it is titled Ada Carr. 3D model of the most dangerous star known. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually a video clip that we will look at showing a model of the star known as Eta Carinae. And it is a very massive star reaching about the limit of how massive a star can be about 100 times the mass of our sun. And it turns out if a star tries to form that's much more massive than that, the intense radiation pressure will push off material and keep it from exceeding that limit of right around 100 times the mass of our sun. It's also uh, not very for a very massive star. It's relatively close, only 10,000 light years away. And it is the type of star that we expect will explode as a supernova. And that could be quite dangerous even here on Earth, even at that distance. A supernova explosion is one of the most massive things that can occur in the universe, one of the most massive explosions that can possibly occur. They can be visible over billions of light years. So we can see the light from stars that exploded that are billions of light years away out towards the edge of the universe. And here what we're going to look at is actually a model of this. So we're going to play the video and take a look at the model here. And we see how it has two lobes to it as material has expelled out. Now not that long ago, well, 150 years ago or more, back in the 1800s, it was one of the brightest stars in the southern sky. And it must have ex excluded some material and that is now what we see expanding outward so in a while it came very bright and then began to fade now what the model looks at and starts out looking at one set of images but then puts together a lot of other material to see this so we're looking at it not with just one telescope but with the light of multiple telescopes to be able to better understand this object so we will see the Hubble Space Telescope images. We will see infrared uh, as well uh, from the Spitzer Space Telescope and the X-ray emission at the towards the end where we will see the X-ray emission and the very outer layers in the red that come from the Chandra X-ray satellite. So being able to study the object in all of these different parts of the spectrum help give us a more complete picture of this object. And as I said, it is the type that is expected to explode sometime within the next couple of million years. And while that may seem like a long time for us, when we talk about objects in space, that is very, very short. Things happen on billion of years of time scales. And here we're talking about something with only a couple million years or less. So astronomers continue to study this. Now why it is called the most dangerous star known is because when it explodes, it can emit bursts of gamma rays. If those happen to be directed towards Earth, they could cause significant damage to the ozone layer of Earth, even at this tremendous distance. Now uh, that may be unlikely that that would actually happen. But we don't know the exact orientation that would occur when it explodes. So a nearby star going supernova would be quite dangerous and is sometimes related to extinction events that have occurred in the past that a massive supernova within 100 or 200 light years could cause a significant extinction event. A massive supernova much closer than that could actually wipe off all life on Earth. So they can be very dangerous, but for the most part, most of these stars, unless the stuff happens to be beamed in our direction, for the more distant stars like this, we are relatively safe. So that was our picture of the day for February 9th of 2022. It was titled Ada Carr 3D model of the most dangerous star known. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.